And I'm so proud to have uh, all the Bobcats here with the Bobcat Proud, the Stratton School System. You know, we got a chance to go up there and visit, and uh, it's pretty unique. Tell us, tell us a little bit um, uh, what makes Stratton Schools unique. Uh, th there's a lot going on in so many different areas, I would have to say. We've got um, an amazing art program, music program. Of course, we've got French now, um, outdoor education, mm. the garden, gardening program, which yeah. Anne could speak on. Tell us about the garden program, because we've been up there for that. It's pretty we amazing. Have, yeah, yeah, you came to one of our open houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, the garden program. We started with six beds in the front that are now, um, it's a sensory garden for the lower end for the elementary school, and they've been making some herbal teas with that bed. Oh, cool. Um, and then we have nine beds in the back that are all fenced in, and those are all certified organic where we're growing vegetables for the school lunch program, which is pretty cool. We have a 33-foot grow dome that came in a couple years ago. Um, and so we're able to, you know, grow things in the off season up here. We also have a fish tank in the grow dome now, and I think there's about, gosh, close to 10 brook trout that are in that tank. Wow. Um, which is pretty neat and pretty exciting. I think that was the big thing when the kids wanted the fish, you know. Vegetables are cool, but like fish are really cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got the fish now, and um, coming this fall, coming this spring, we're going to be prepping um, some land to put an orchard in. Oh, so wow. we received a grant um, through some fundraising and Retrius is coming in. We're gonna be putting about 14, um, 14 apple trees in and some berry bushes. So, so you're growing things. Is the enthusiasm in growing too for, for gardening and farming? I know it is for worms when I was there. They were very, <laughs> uh, very conscientious and did some great projects. But it, um, you, you they're eating their own vegetables. Is it really, it's making a difference, inspiring people? I feel like it is. And yeah. I mean, girls, you can probably talk about that yeah. a little bit more too. But we have our big Harvest Fest. And I mean, you want to talk a little bit about that? What happens at Harvest Fest? I mean, who, who makes the food? Who cooks the food? Um, at the Harvest Fest, we invite all the students together to make food, like bread, sauces, salads, a bunch of different foods yeah. from the food from the garden. And um, the older kids help set up, and they make the tables and invite the people in. Yeah. So a lot of great things there, great different ways of learning, isn't it? It's a big community meal, and all the food is sourced locally in Maine. Yeah. So we're making adaptations for sugar. We're using maple syrup, and not everything might come from our garden, but they're coming from local farms. So. Um, even kale. Even kale. Yeah. One year we didn't have kale because it was just a bad kale year for us. And so people complained? Kale. Yeah, the, the students complained. <laughs> they wouldn't give us they, more kale. The students, yeah, they were not happy. There was no, no kale. Well, you guys really are making a difference up there. That's awesome. Uh, uh, great that we go up there, and, uh, and we're going to go back up again, too, and visit. We'd love to come up yeah. and love your project here, making people think about all the things that are important to, to them. And... Uh, uh, with their coat of arms, and uh, we, we appreciate you coming in, sharing that and other programs. And thank you to our uh, correspondent, uh, Steve Arner, who is our, our civic and educational correspondent. We appreciate that, Steve. Thank you so much. Uh, I think we're going to talk to Captain Kip here coming up in just a moment. We'll be right back.